one New Orleans neighborhood wants to cut down on crime by banning public drinking. And neighbors are getting some support early on from at least one city councilman. WGNO's Ashley Hamilton explains from Alcee Forche Park in Faubourg St. John. Ashley. Susie Kurt, this comes after residents say they have to constantly deal with day drinkers, people leaving trash, or even exposing themselves daily. With the possibility of a temporary prohibition on alcohol, the possibility is that they could get a better quality of life. Fallberg St. John neighbors are fed up and demanding change, telling WG no. Random people repeatedly sit and drink for hours leaving behind beer bottles and trash. You got some of them guys come out here and they drink. I watch them get stupid out here and I don't, I get away from it. Neighborhood Association President Andy Ryan explains, it's not a homeless problem, but visitors of the park have created a quality of life issue. A group of individuals that you know, drink from 7 to 7 or 7 to 10 all day, usually get in an altercation with each other. They defecate, urinate out in the park all day. And they aren't just drinking. And they've cut our water pipes. They've cut our electrical boxes. The Neighborhood Association has spent good money to, to keep the park, you know, upkeep. And uh, it's, you know, why they do that, I don't know. Councilman Joe Jerusal has drafted an ordinance temporarily banning the use of alcohol in public along the three streets boarding the park making it off limits to the people causing the problems. We had a homicide here a couple weeks ago. Um, two of the regulars had been drinking all day and, uh, you know, gotten an altercation and, uh, you know, one of them, you know, uh, beat the other one to death. And, you know, a couple years ago we had a stabbing. If passed, the ban could be lifted for special events like the annual Bastille Bay celebration in the neighborhood. Ryan says the ordinance is the last ditch effort to make the park more family friendly. With the stabbings, the homicide, you know, exposing yourself. We have an all girls school here, Cabrini. Um, so if, you know, girls are walking through, if a gentleman is exposing himself or a lady, for that matter, um, it, that's, that's something we need to resolve. Um, but I think the ordinance is on the agenda. If it approves, it will then move on to the mayor on whether or not it passes. Susie Kurt. An interesting idea. Thanks, Ashley.